Hey, what's up my beautiful people, Jose here. And what this video is about is boyfriend material. Now, what can I say is that I think a very crucial part in a relationship is knowing how to be able to protect your girl. Or hey, your guy for crying out loud, but right now it's just your girl. Now, I'm not gonna lie, I ain't scared of shit. I will protect my girl if it was a gunpoint, if it was a robbery, it don't matter nothing. I'm gonna give you a bunch of scenarios right now. If there's this big dude, six feet tall, and he comes to my girl and be like, damn, girl, you fine. I don't care if that boy's bigger than me. I don't care if he's stronger than me. I'm gonna do whatever little thing I gotta do that means bite his kneecaps, punch him in the groin. I don't care. I'm protecting my girl. None of that's gonna go through me. Oh, but Jose, what about if he has a, a weapon? There's a robber, and my lady's right there, and he pulls out a knife. I will bust some Bruce Lee shit. I would know self-defense, even though I've never seen it or done it, I just, boom, I, I knock the boy on his butt. I don't care, guess what, I'll take a stab wound or anything, I ain't scared of nothing. Ah, oh, Jose, you're lying, there has to be. Dude, if we get into a little bit of a horror film here, now we got some Jason following me, we got some Michael Myers, we got some Chainsaw Master, I don't care. I'm about to put these, you know, lightning and thunder, and put it together. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. So. I'll take those guys on, but there is a little slight flaw in my fearlessness. Even with all those scenarios, I'll, I'll protect you, I'll guard you, I'll love you, I'll do whatever I gotta do to protect you. But in a case where we're in a house and the chairs start moving and cabinets start opening up by themselves, and let's just say a apparition or more of like exorcist of like female is to approach our room and we're in there. Before you even scream, I'm already out the window hauling ass faster than that guy at the Olympics ball or something like that. You wouldn't, you wouldn't even, I would not be there. I'm sorry, I don't care. That is one of the very couple things that I am scared of, I don't like anything that looks like the exorcist, barely put my arm down out of the bed because I'm like scared of that. You are dead, I am dropping you, you are bi, I am not dealing with that, I will not fight for that, I am sorry, that is, that is demonic, you are screwed, I cannot use thunder and lightning to that, I'm sorry. The second thing, oh we're going a little off the same topic, but it's more of the old lady kind of, you know, what was that, Dead Silence movie? You know, that kind of look, or even um, Insidious, even though it was a guy, but still, it came to it as that was hella creepy, and if that was the same thing, it could be our neighbor, and as soon as she looked at me, and it looked any type of way creepy, I already divorced you, I took the kids, and I'm done, we ain't leaving, uh, Jose, you're such a little girl, I'm sorry, that is a little girl, and it's gonna take the little girl out of me, I'm not gonna, I, nope, nope, not today. Chair and I was like, yeah, yeah, we're being followed. And they're like, oh, did they say anything to you? I'm like, no, they did not say anything to me. They're like, do they have a weapon? I'm like, I don't know. They don't have, we, we don't know. And they're like, all right, let me transfer you over to San Fernando Department, Police Department. And I'm like, at this point, I'm like, we could have been shot already. We could have been stabbed.